In today's video, I'm showing you how I installed the home network's bathroom fan. This is an oversized fan, in my opinion. It replaces the much smaller standard fan that you can find in many bathrooms. So this one requires more work and usually it's installed from the attic. But in my case, I couldn't access the attic because it was too low, too much insulation. And I just tried to do it from uh, the lower side. So here I am uh, unplugging it first. Make sure that in your breaker boxes, you cut off the power and uh, that you check if there's any power with your instrument and uh, after that you can proceed and you can just unplug it and you can just pull it out and there is this old housing that was uh, attached to the 2x4 there and I just used my drill to unscrew it and then you can just lift it up for now. In the instructions it will call for a 9 and a quarter hole by 9 and a quarter which I did, but that was probably meant if you were uh, installing it from uh, the upper side, from the attic. So I uh, went with those measurements, I cut these holes, and then I figured that they were too small uh, for that fan to fit through uh, nine and a quarter by nine and a quarter. So after that, you will see in this video, I had uh, many troubles inserting the fan from the lower side because there was this uh, cover where you attach the, the outlet hose and it just wouldn't fit. I didn't think of that before I cut the hole. Uh, I just went along with it. I, was, I knew I had to uh, improvise a little bit and you will all see that in the video. So after you cut out the hole, you take the old housing down. You can unscrew it or if there were zip ties in place, you can just cut them off and you can take out that old housing. Since this is a, a smaller one, you would have to go with a bigger hole on the outside, which means that the, the four inch hose will just fit exactly on the outlet, on the new fan. On the old fan, there was a smaller reduction piece of, uh, of metal and it w it went from I think three um, and a quarter to four inches so I had to take that out in order to fit uh, the new housing in. I used this piece of uh, reduction later on because I had to extend this hose, the hose that you can see there right now, the four inch hose that goes to the outside. It was too short um, I had to uh, extend it and I used that um, piece to uh, attach the other piece of four inch hose. Now you can see that this housing will not fit properly. So I, uh, I'm trying to think what to do here. Uh, here we are with the electrical wiring. The existing wires that were connected to the previous fan had black and white and uh, copper for ground. They had no red wire. I know some of these fans have a red wire too, but in my case, uh, there was no such wire present. Uh, here I am inserting a piece of um, probably like a three by three or three by four, uh, just for additional support because on uh, the uh, previous fan there was only one 2x4 on the side. There are no eye joists uh, nearby. So I uh, wanted to install another 2x4 or 3x3 three three, uh, so I can um, con um, secure the other side of the new fan because it was rather heavy and bulky and big and I didn't want it to fall out or once I install it, I didn't want it to um, lean outside. Um, this is my first try of uh, inserting this uh, uh, big uh, home networks fan. And uh, I uh, uncoupled uh, the exhaust part of it. You're not supposed to do that when you install it, but I uncoupled it and then I attached it to the flexible uh, pipe up there. I thought it would be easier to do it this way. Uh, here you can see the wires. So uh, the green goes uh, to the copper and uh, black wire goes to black, white wire goes to white wire. That's um, uh, pretty simple there. 
and uh, like I said this is my first try of putting it in and this didn't work as you will see um, there, there is a little cover on the side where you can uh, tuck in all the tuck in all these uh, wires it's hard you know because it's hanging on this uh, cable up there and you're by yourself doing it uh, uh, standing on a tree or on, or on the ladder and I had my wife later on help me to put it in because it was just um, exhausting <laughs> so you can see here my first try to uh, insert it and as you can, as you can see it won't uh, fit because it, it's it's big and you can't um, attach that uh, hose to the fan so later on I had to cut another hole well not a hole I had to make this hole wider for about two inches I took the cover of this new fan and I checked if it's gonna cover the the hole the new hole and it would now I took everything out I put back the exhaust part of the uh, new fan I put it back on the fan and here I am uh, I'm using that extension as I said before I used the metal pipe that was already there as an extender I put it between these two new hoses and put zip ties around it I just happened to have a piece of uh, flexible hose in my basement so I connected them together connected it to uh, the new fan and it still wouldn't fit so I had to cut uh, my wife wasn't happy about it but I had no choice so I had to cut an, um, another uh, section of the drywall about two inches wide and then here uh, a little bit more for the cable to fit in and it finally went in uh, I was uh, happy so uh, I had to do some improvisation here I um, drilled four holes and then I used screws to connect the um, to secure the new fan to the, that 2x4 and the new 3x3 that I put in uh, here I am you have to uh, plug in the cable the black cable to the cable that's on the cover that's for the Bluetooth speakers and then same as with uh, other fans there were a couple of uh, wires on each side where you, and you just push them in now when you take out the old switch you have to uh, make sure you you understand that you have to install their switch so it will not work without their switch you have to figure out uh, which line goes uh, to wear so as you can see the top black wire here had uh, power and then the lower one did not have power you have to remember that now uh, these fans have to have a white wire present uh, there was no wire on the switch but there was a uh, few wires in uh, the box there so I used them I used those wires to uh, connect it to the new switch I just unscrew un uh, this and then I cut a little uh, piece of six inch long white wire and I just connected that to the new switch remember you have to have a white wire but like I said before you have to go back to the breaker box turn on the power and then figure out uh, which uh, once the your old fan switch is, is uh, uh, shut off you have to figure out which uh, wire is uh, power and which one does not have power in other words which one is live coming from the breaker box and which one uh, is dead once that uh, switch is turned off and that one actually goes to the fan uh, here I am uh, connecting those wires uh, white to white and then we have these two black wires so uh, the one that's live that's coming from the breaker box that one goes to the other uh, black wire that's on the on the switch your switch has a red wire too and that's supposed to go to the black wire that goes to the fan from the switch to the fan and then the green wire goes to uh, the ground which is copper here in my case and then uh, once I turned uh, back on the power here I noticed that everything was uh, working okay I checked everything out and then we could proceed uh, to just uh, tucking those tucking those wires in 
the box and then uh, putting back the screws here and then testing everything out uh, one last time. So uh, another thing I just want to mention one more time, you have to have a white wire. Uh, as you could see, there was one on the old fan and I connected it. So I just assumed that this white wire goes to the same circuit here uh, since um, there were white wires present in the box. Uh, but they didn't connect them to the switch. Um, so he, um, I'm putting everything back in and uh, make sure that at this uh, time the fuses are off, that there is no power there. And uh, I installed this cool new plate, new to me at least, that has no screws. Uh, it's not uh, cheap, but it looks great. And then uh, you can also watch another video here on the left. I have this uh, motion uh, sensor uh, switch that turns on the light. And then I'm gonna make another video about that. And you can watch that, it's gonna be a short video. And here I'm testing um, the music. You have to connect your phone to the Bluetooth and then whatever is playing on your phone then you can listen to it on the speakers. It has no capabilities of connecting to Alexa uh, or anything else like that. It's just a basic uh, speaker that you can connect to your phone, which is okay, I guess. But in my case, I'm not sure if I'm even going to be using that, uh, maybe to listen to radio, but it's not like you spend all day in your bathroom and then you have time to listen to radio or to music. This is more uh, fun for kids, I guess, because they can uh, play with it. And it, it it is cool thing to say that you have, but I don't think in my opinion, it's not that practical. So here I am testing everything. It has night lights. It has a blue night light. It has a yellowish orange night light. It has LED lights, uh, regular lights that will uh, lighten up uh, your bathroom and you can kind of uh, lower it down and you can go higher and uh, it's at the end it's a it's a cool bathroom fan um, in my opinion um, it wasn't that easy to install unless you have attic access then it would be uh, much much easier but I'm satisfied and then we'll see how this is uh, gonna last Thanks for watching and uh, make sure you subscribe.